What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and just see um, what other messages come out for you. Sorry for the glare, y'all. And if you hear my baby girl in the background, I do apologize. She may be going and gone. Let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? Three cards. What's going on with Scorpio's energy? Judgment coming out. Okay. What's going on with Scorpio's energy, please, spirit? Oh, the sun. Beautiful. And what's going on with Scorpio's energy? And not of cards. Dang. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the high priest is beautiful. All right. One moment. Okay. Sorry, y'all. She got the hiccups. Okay. So judgment, the sun, and the nine of cups. Okay. So it looks like... Okay. So let's see. Sorry about that, y'all. The judgment, the sun, and the nine of cups. Well, looks like you're being called forward. You're being judged appropriately. The sun is abundance, okay? It's also happiness. And this nine of cups is your cups being fulfilled, okay? So, looks like it's time for you to be happy, Scorpio, is what it looks like. It's time for you to be happy. What's this judgment energy about, please, Spirit? Yeah, obstacles. You've went through your obstacles. You've dealt with your delays. Uh, maybe you had to choose a different path to go about here and you're being judged about that or you made a judgment call to go in a different direction here to release any blockages and things like that. Young, female, youthful, music, fashion. A lot of y'all could be feeling uh, like young and free. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, this could have been another person that was your blockage as well. Or this could be you either way. Okay. Travel. Some of y'all are going to start traveling. Y'all may meet um, your true love when you travel or this is going to be maybe your new true love will be somebody that you travel with oh wow some of y'all can i just heard let's get married okay so some of y'all could be getting married going on honeymoon congratulations but some of y'all may meet your person yeah true jam wow some of y'all may some of y'all y'all person you may actually run into your person at a distance maybe for example like say you decide to move or relocate you may actually run into your person that you fall in love with. You fall head over heels with here. Um, whatever blockages have been in your way, they're about to be moved out the way. What's the sun for Scorpio? I, baby, look. True love. Yes. Pure love, honest connection. Because you're meant to be in love here. You're meant to be happy. You're meant to be in love. Some of y'all, you could be pregnant. So congratulations on that. Toxic story and new opportunities. A lot of y'all have ended a, a karmic toxic cycle. And so whatever those blockages were that, that needed to get out the way, those have been resolved. You have overcame those. You learned the lessons that you needed to in order for you to go towards this happiness here. Yeah, children, triangle. Some of y'all could have been... Uh, ooh, some of y'all could be dealing with like a baby mother, baby father, soulmate, great connection, relationship, and money. Or some of y'all, y'all are going to get into a connection with someone that has children already. There may be a baby mother, baby father. So um, just a heads up on that. But there's going to be lots of abundance, happiness, money, financial stability when this comes in for you. Okay, what's the nine of cups for Scorpio? What's this nine of cups for Scorpio? Nine of cups for Scorpio, please, spirit. What's that nine of cups? <laughs> money wealth luck finances and dating wining dining and romance look here now some of y'all about to start going out on different dates open relationships no commitment casual and openness beauty queen shining on stage and adored some of y'all could be an older person mature man older male mature in age it's like this person they recognize you they see you some of y'all, this is, you know, maybe you, at first, you may not be wanting a relationship. You may just be like, no, you know, let's just be cool. Let's just be casual. You may not want a commitment, but this person's going to whine and dine you. They're really going to take you out. They may spend some money on you. They see you worth it. They see you worth the investment. Brunette, female, darker hair, intense focus. Some of y'all can have darker hair. This person has darker hair, darker eyes. Could be a very intense connection, past life, knowing, deja vu, past love. Some of y'all, y'all have known this person before. Yeah, courting man, uniform, professional male. Wow. Some of y'all, this person could be like a business, like a business type of person. They may dress up in like a, in a suit or very professional. They come off very professional. They speak very intellectually. You can have a good conversation with this person. 
Okay. Anything after that? Yeah, gifts. This person may surprise you with gifts, you know, presents, you know, show you things. You're gonna, it's like they're gonna open you up to things that you may not have experienced before. Okay. Especially when it comes to like wealth and finances and a lot of y'all, and now if you're in this singles energy, that could be you. You know what I'm saying? Very financially stable, secure. You know, you got your money and your wealth going on. You know, you're just taking trips and traveling, doing what you want. Oh, I like it. I like this energy. Yes. I like this energy. Okay, Arm, you going to help me out here? You going to help me out here? She all fat and happy, y'all. She had her little bye-bye. So she fat and happy. Okay. Let's see. Clarify the judgment card for Scorpio. Judgment with obstacles. What's that about? Judgment with obstacles for Scorpio, please, spirit. Yeah, a lot of y'all judgment with obstacles. Judgment with ob obstacles is nightmares, insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things under eye bags, idol, love, respected, admired, idolized, and fan. And then romantic love affair, sex, fix, secret lover, and F buddy. So for some of y'all, running. Oh, yes. Excuse you. My goodness. For a lot of y'all, y'all are making judgment calls on certain people that you're dating, that you're bringing into your life. You no longer want these sleepless nights. Like you want to be respected. You want to be, you know, looked up to, admired. Like, like you don't want to be looked at just like a one night stand booty call type of energy. A lot of y'all may be releasing those types of connections. You know, seeing them for what they truly are, realizing like, okay, uh, friends with benefits isn't what I want or, you know, being a secret lover, that's not what I want. You know, I, I don't want to deal with that type of relationship or connection. So you could be making a decision to release them. Yeah. Spiritual hater hates on spirituality, light, magic, and power, always partying. Always listen to your intuition when it comes to these people or these particular People that are interested in you, if they don't show you the respect that you deserve and they just want to sleep around with you and stuff like that, um, I see you releasing them, okay? I see you releasing them and moving on from them type. Can I have one more on that? The judgment with obstacles, please. Can I have one more on that? You trying to shuffle cards, baby? <laughs> judgment with obstacles. Yeah, low IQ. Very low vibrational energies. I see you kind of getting rid of them. <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that, but yeah. Forcer, forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Especially if it's like people that you don't see it going anywhere with them. You see them as like users or they take advantage, you know, they just want to have, yeah, what I tell you, thief. It says rob, loss, theft, physical, emotional, child services. Uh, this could be somebody, now this could be somebody that don't take care of their kids, okay, that are very irresponsible or just childish in some sort of way here. And I see you kind of releasing them, letting them go. Yeah, I don't see you wasting your time on those types of energies here. Baby, you can pull my shirt down. Hold on. I don't, <laughs> sorry about that. I don't see you wasting your time on these types of energies. It's like the moment that you realize them or you recognize it for what it is, I see you kind of like booting them and kind of, uh, you know, moving on, not letting those types of energies delay you, especially if you've been in a connection where it's not going anywhere, it's not evolving, it's not going towards a connection like, you know, where y'all are actually dating, going out, building, growing, expanding. I see you releasing that as well. Okay. Anything else with the judgment and obstacles for Scorpio? Judgment and obstacles for my Scorpios. Who what's that? Soulmates. Yes. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. I think that's the only thing you're really going for. You're looking for you know, a soulmate connection, someone you could be in a relationship with. Um, girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed to use, enable boundaries. Yeah, y'all got y'all boundaries up. I like this because you're not dealing with the like love bombing energy. You know, um, people can't really charm you to where they're using you for like sex and money and whatever they need to clout, you know, attention. They're not able to do that anymore. I like that. Yeah, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, saving the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. Some of y'all may not even be having sex for like the first couple of dates as well. Y'all may hold back from that. I see you wanting to actually build like a real friendship first. You know, meeting this person, talking to them, you know, um, getting to know them. 
And then with this not enough card, frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. The moment that you sense this on these people or this person um, where they're like jealous or something like that, they're either going to walk away from you because they realize you're not easy or um, you're going to get rid of them because you're going to sense the jealousy like or they're going to it's like they're going to sabotage the connection anyway and you're going to look at it like it's like I feel like it's not even going to phase you <laughs> like it's not even going to phase you because you're looking at it like well if they really want to be with me they'll make it work or they'll put the time energy and effort in and for the ones that don't put the time energy and effort in you're kind of looking at it like oh well it wasn't meant to be anyways they just wanted a one night stand or they just wanted to use me for, for booty or, or money or whatever, you know, the D, whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's the sun with true love? Like you making them work. <laughs> you making them work for it. Hold on one second. Let's see. What's the sun energy with true love? What's the sun energy with true love? Dirty offer and too busy winning. Okay. Dirty offer and too busy winning. I'm telling you, it's like you don't have time for these half offers, photo proof, getting evidence. You don't have time for these half half booty offers. You know, I don't want to cuss too much. The sun and true love, fed up. Yeah, you're kind of, this is kind of like people that are just trying to get a win with you, looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info, jackpot. They want to use you, player energy, people that's in and out, inconsistent. I don't see you dealing with that. When the dirty offer comes in, like you, you're like either this is going to be a real connection, we're going to be in a real relationship, or we're not going to be nothing at all. Um, others of you, it's like, if these are people just want to get with you just to say that they with you, extra triggered, yeah, impersonator, they want to get with you to use you or be like you or, or try to copy you in some sort of way. I don't see you dealing with them, ignoring. Yeah, I see you ignoring them because they're they're pretenders. They're not who they say they are. And you're just like, I'm, you know, you're leaving it out the door type of energy. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the sun with the true love energy here? Whoa, whoa, that's too many. What's the sun with the true love energy? A lot of y'all, it's going to be revealed that a lot of people you that come in your energy, uh, they can't mess with you. Yeah, the Grim Reaper and Coffin. Some of y'all are kind of like letting it go and just kind of moving on to the next thing. With the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chance is growing, transform your life. And then Coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So if somebody did offer you a dirty offer and they weren't showing up in this true, authentic energy, like, yo, either we're going to be in love and be in a relationship, be, you know, grow and expand. If they're not showing up like that, you're letting them go. If they have any secrets, hiding anything, being manipulative in any type of way, I see you letting them go. The coffin card, you're not looking at it like, oh my gosh, this is the end of the world. You're just looking at it like, okay, let me release this person so I could go find the person I really want to be with. Because the fed up card is here. You, This dirty offer with this too busy winning, you looking at this like, this is just somebody that want to say they was with me, to be with me, you know? Yeah, I see you releasing them, whoever that is. What's the nine of cups with the money? Some of y'all are focused on your money. Look now, y'all need to pay, look, curious about you, karmic friends, eh, and then bankrupt. Some of y'all are even cutting off friends, family members. Yeah, people that are in their egos that feel like they're better than you in some sort of way. These people could be very manipulative. Um, they could be abusive, like abusing narcotics, things like that, or abusing like spirituality or like getting multiple readings on you, being all up in your business. If you do tarot readings, they may watch your tarot channel, stuff like that. Um, but for some of y'all, y'all got people around y'all that's up in y'all business about y'all money. Uh-huh. Y'all need to be careful because they extra nosy. They trying to find out what type of money and abundance you got coming in. What, like, what, what's your happiness is coming towards you? What's nine of cups with the money card? Mm, these are people that's in competition with you. Nine of cups with the money card. If y'all see me moving, I'm rocking this thing. Yeah, kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Some of y'all are just falling in love with your job, with your business, with yourself. Yep. And you're realizing like love is going to come when it's supposed to. Some of y'all are getting out of a karmic relationship. Like you've learned the lessons you needed to learn. You're letting go of it. Keep his arrow as have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation or meeting and hesitation. Some of y'all know that love is coming in, but right now you may just be focused on your money. Like if it's meant to be, it'll be and in and, and due time. Yeah. Clock. You, you, you allowing yourself to like run your cycle or go through the cycle that need that you need to. Especially when it comes to your money, it's kind of like, well, if, if you real and you true and you love me the way you say you do, then you're going to wait on me to get my money together and get my money right. And then we can be together. But for some of you, there's somebody in competition with you. Why does karmic friend energy here? Like they want you to compete. They could be stirring up drama. What's the karmic friend's energy? 
Yeah, jackpot. They may be jealous about your money or your finances, about you doing well, tripping on you. If all of a sudden you see somebody acting funny because you're doing well in life, that is not your friend. Like they get angry because you're working and you're trying to better yourself. That is not a friend. That is somebody that's jealous, fake smiles and chasing. They're acting like they're happy about you, but really they want you like running up behind them, chasing them. Force or yeah, forcing things on you, forces their way in. You're forced to get what they want. This person, they could be like trying to use you for money and stuff like that. So I'd be careful with that energy. Yeah, the high priest is here. Listen to your intuition. Because a, a true friend shouldn't be jealous that you're trying to like better yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, okay. Let's do fortune cookies. Any advice? Just be careful of that. If, if You know, shouldn't nobody be jealous? If anything, you should be encouraging that person. Like, I love seeing people do better in their life. Like, yes, keep going. Keep pushing. I'll give you, I give you some freaking, some inspiration if you need it. You feel down? Don't be down. It's okay, boo. Everybody have a hard day. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean you can't get back up. Okay, dust it off and keep going. You know, keep going. Keep keep trying. Just because one, one person may tell you no, but you got 10 other people to go to. And trust and believe, one of them going to give you a yes. Okay? Anything else? <laughs> supposed to be encouraging each other let's see assert yourself go for what you want the time is right for soulmate connections birth of a child also likely again some of y'all may find out you're pregnant may be giving birth to a child so congratulations others of you this could be like a birthing an idea for as far as work business things like that so some y'all are getting into a new connection as well you're releasing the dirty offers though like the ones that really don't want anything we have society say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way Excellent networking opportunities and new love interest for singles will be the result. Some of y'all mean new people. I'm telling y'all. Y'all going to meet them while y'all out and about, while y'all are traveling. And this is where you're going to actually fall in love, you know, and you're going to meet somebody that wants to encourage you, that wants you to, wants to see you win. You know what I'm saying? That wants to see you be successful and abundant, you know, go after your goals and your dreams. They're not going to try to give you some little shady, dirty offer to try to hold you back. They want you to actually be successful, you know. And then we have opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. So just be prepared. Either you're going to be meeting a new soulmate or this could be somebody you can go into partnership with, work with, build with, grow with, make money with, 1717 on the phone, um, and create a new life with. Anybody that's trying to keep you from making money or keeping you in this poverty-stricken um, mindset energy, they're, they don't have your best interest, okay? Just listen to your intuition. But this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.